Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, again with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about getting comfortable and positioning yourself for rest or sleep following a knee replacement or similar surgical procedure. So this is a really common issue we run into when folks return home after having their knee replacements con uh, completed, is getting comfortable enough to be able to rest. And obviously rest is so important in your recovery process, so in today's video I'm going to go over several different sleep position options as well as some uh, considerations for making your bed as comfortable and easy for you to access as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first things first, knowing what your bed situation is before you go into surgery is going to make a lot of difference as far as coming home and being able to comfortably return to it. So if you have an exceptionally tall bed or an exceptionally low bed, you may want to consider some options to make that better. So if your bed is very high and it takes a little bit of effort to get up into it, you may want to consider getting yourself some sort of step stool with a handle on it to actually make the boost into bed much easier, especially when you're relying primarily on one leg. Then there's the other consideration of getting in and out of a lower bed. That might require the help of perhaps a bed rail or something like a standard security pole next to the bed to help boost yourself up. Now this is only if you're really struggling with weakness in, in addition to the pain and the recovery process from that knee replacement. Also a consideration if you're having both knees done at once. So if you're having a double knee replacement, having your bed positioned just so before you go into it can make a world of difference. So definitely consider that. Now let's talk about some of the other supplies that you'd need for positioning yourself comfortably in bed. The most important thing is to have a bunch of pillows. You're gonna need extra pillows, more than what you usually sleep with most likely. You need a variety of thicknesses and softnesses because you wanna be able to position in a way that allows you to kind of cushion the sore knee while also allowing the rest of your body to be positioned well so you can rest for more than a few hours at a time before needing to reposition. So there's some considerations with how you do this in order to prevent uh, prolonged bent position or prolonged extended positions in the leg to kind of keep your pain under control. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with back positioning. Uh, some people find back positioning to be their most comfortable, but for the most part this is a position that you're going to use primarily during naps and rest time. So when you're laying on your back, you really want a fairly thin pillow behind the head. That's just a good recommendation for neck and um, shoulder stability. So a thinner pillow behind the head, and then a couple of additional pillows that we're going to position throughout the rest of our body to get us nice and comfortable. So we're going to go ahead and lay down on our back here. I'm going to pretend like my left leg here is my surgically repaired knee. So when I go to position in the bed, knowing that when you are recovering from knee replacement, one of the most difficult things is to extend that leg or to flatten that leg all the way out like this. You're gonna have a tendency to wanna have it bent a little bit. Now, from a therapy perspective, we really want to encourage that leg to straighten as much as possible. So this is a balancing act between comfort and prolonging your recovery process. So what we recommend, initially especially, to get yourself comfortable is a nice supportive pillow. This one's fairly uh, plush, underneath the calf. Now, when it's underneath the calf like this, the knee is not excessively bent. It's not also being pushed into a straight position. If you shift the pillow down to the ankle, now the weight of my leg is being pushed down. This is if we're really trying to encourage that knee to straighten, and this could be more of a therapeutic position, but it's gonna be uncomfortable. This isn't a good position to rest in. The best position for back sleeping to rest in is going to be with the pillow positioned underneath the calf, okay? So now I'm going to lay back on my back like this, and from here, this is going to be my primary back sleeping position. If I can't tolerate this for very long, I may choose then to roll over onto my side. But before I do that, I also wanna talk about the back position as being the spot to help get your leg elevated for swelling management. So if I've got a lot of swelling, I'm gonna to have to get this leg elevated in order to really get the swelling down. This can be done with extra pillows placed underneath the calf again, like this. I've added another pillow, this one's pretty soft, to get my foot elevated above my heart. Now, if you have exceptionally stubborn swelling in your leg, and this can cause a lot of problems as far as pain and recovery, getting yourself a good wedge that you can place underneath your uh, calf will help with that. So this wedge, and as you can see, this puts my leg in a lot of extension. So I'm going to add a pillow here just to kind of soften it a little bit. And just like that, we may add another one underneath 
here too. This is really going to be specific to the individual, but now I've really got a nice elevation here to get that fluid out of the foot and ankle region and out of the knee to flow then up and out of the body. This is going to be super important for short periods of time throughout that first few days of your recovery to keep the swelling from getting stuck in that foot and ankle because that can really impede your ability to recover. So that's not going to be super important when you're sleeping, but this is a great thing to be able to set up when you're just resting or taking a little uh, nap in bed. So short periods of time. You're not going to want a position like that for eight hours. I'm going to show you side sleeping now because this is by far the most commonly used comfortable position that people can get into for longer stretches overnight. Now when you sleep on your side, you're going to want a little more support under the head like this. And we're going to need a couple of pillows. I've got a soft pillow here that I can fold in half. This is a good, a good, good one. And then I've got a thicker pillow here. So let me show you how you would do this. Step one. Surgical leg, again, we're going to say is the left leg. You want this leg down into the bed, okay? So the mattress is going to support that surgically repaired knee nice and flat like that. Now I can lay up on my side with this leg positioned like so. No sleeping on the stomach right now. The incision is going to be right across the top of your knee. So right on the side like this. And we don't want to rest our non-surgical leg directly on top. That's going to be too uncomfortable. So that's where a pillow between the knees is going to be very important. Now, some people can tolerate the weight of their leg through a pillow onto their surgical leg. This is, uh, this is actually, some people really like this position because it gives a little bit of counter pressure on the knee and it can feel good. Others will extend beyond the actual pillow and rest that leg kind of across the body. And then we're gonna apply a secondary pillow here so that we have some place for the arm to rest, to really cuddle in and get comfortable as we're trying to sleep and rest. Now, a lot of people are gonna need to change positions throughout the night and that's okay. There may be some moving of pillows around, but this position right here, this side lying position, seems to be most comfortable for the largest group of people recovering from knee replacement surgery. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this out here just like that. And hopefully with this, you'll find a position that works for you so that you can rest for several hours at a time and get some good sleep. It's really important early on that you find a position that works that also encourages that recovery process so that we're encouraging that leg to straighten out as much as possible during periods of time to kind of speed up that recovery process and maximize the amount of flexibility you get back in your knee following your surgical procedure. So I hope this video gave you some ideas, and if you got some value out of it, consider giving me a thumbs up. As always, if you're looking for more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.